Hello, good morning, everyone. So today, uh, I'm going to discuss an important aspect of metabolic health, right? Uh, so we're going to talk about how uh, microbiome impact our entire metabolic health. Right, so, uh, so uh, what exactly is butyrate? We are going to discuss about butyrate. Butyrate is, you know, one of the most essential short chain fatty acid, uh, which plays a key role in various aspects of our health, right? And this is something produced by our microbiome, right? That microbiome. So uh, we all know that, you know, fiber is really, really essential for our, our diet, our health, right? And we go to a doctor or a nutritionist, we are told, you know, eat a lot of fiber, eat a lot of starch, eat a lot of inulin, right? But why is it so? And, uh, you know, because these sort of fibers is hard to digest by our human body and, and these are actually metabolized by our, by our microbiome, right? So essentially, you know, these microbes metabolize a lot of these these uh, chemicals such as inulin, resistant starch and fiber and you know, fat soluble fibers and all these and convert them into butyrate and right and now butyrate what it is. So butyrate is in is in metabolite or chemical used by um, by a microbiome, right? So it it has an anti inflammatory effect. It helps in uh, you know regulating our satiety, it helps in regulating blood sugar levels, right? It acts as signaling molecule. It it can bind to receptors of you know receptors in fat cells, immune cells, right? We know that fat cells play a key role in in blood pressure control, obesity, in fat metabolism, right? So so butyrate directly directly has a role to to regulate our blood pressure, to impact whether we gain weight or not, to impact our fat digestion, right? So butyrate also reduces, you know, uh, production of cytokines, which is said to cause inflammation. So it is actually, actually anti-inflammatory, right? Uh, so not only the, the current set of molecules, but also the, you know, the uh, it also have an and it also has a significant effect, you know, downstream significant effect. So it can impact various other aspects of our health. Right. So let us listen to this uh, guy called Dr. Jack Gulbert. Who, who talks about the connection between bitrate and diabetes. So we, we so you know, uh, so bitrate, these bitrate producing bacteria actually influence how much of insulin has to be released. It, it actually communicates with the pancreas and tells how much of insulin has to be released. So, so indirectly, directly, it impacts the, you know, the, the uh, insulin secretion or the regulation of insulin. Yeah, so so it clearly, uh, Dr. Jack clearly mentions about the role of bitrate in in regulator insulin sensitivity and you know impacting the development of uh, you know uh, or preventing the development of diabetes. Right? So again, you know, so just to sum up, right, bitrate helps in weight control and satiety, right? So it can uh, signal, you know, it can have a signaling effect. It can you know control your hunger spikes, right? 
it via pancreas it, it controls our insulin sensitivity right it has downstream signal effect which which can you know impact various body functions right from you know brain to 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 liver to a lot of these things and you know it it binds to the immune cells so it also have a you know uh, it also has a role in playing in regulating insulin response right it has impact on neural health through so the gut brain communication right and then uh for far and foremost is you know bitrate also has a role in 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 you know reducing the uh, or probably you know eliminating cancer right so that's why we when when you know a lot of uh, alternative therapies for cancer in, involves balancing microbiome probably you know it means that you know promoting anti-inflammatory activity which is essentially one of them is you know promoting battery production right so let us discuss how we at gene fitletics actually solve this right so so uh when we talk of you know uh basically you know uh by trade right so so a lot of companies in in india which focus on the microbial dna which focus on telling you know which bacteria are they are probably you know the the alpha and beta diversity okay so so that's that's what most of the companies the core so they tell potential to produce by trade so they to tell you whether you have a bacteria or not which can produce bitrate, right? It doesn't, it doesn't, they does not decode, right? That whether it is actually producing bitrate or not, right? So this is where, how we differentiate ourselves, right? So uh, we first of all tell potential to produce bitrate. We also tell you which microbes are there, which ones are active, what they are producing, whether they are producing enough bitrate or not, right? Uh, right? Or are they really engaged in producing nitrate or not? Right. These are the functions. So what we focus, we have to focus on what metabolites are being produced, whether the nitrate is actually being produced or not. Potential does not tell anything. Potential doesn't tell. It only tells okay, you have a bacteria. It doesn't tell whether it is really active in, in producing nitrate or not. Right. So so you know that's that's another thing which we should consider is you know. Uh, uh, just a comparison of uh, how we we actually are decoding your entire or giving you a different footprint of your body, right? So we identify the existence of all the activities of microorganisms, right? Right. Uh, that is that is most of the DNA talking community, microbial DNA doesn't really enter. But what differentiate is is quantify, measuring, and letting the biochemical activities of all the microorganisms, which most of the microbial none of the microbial DNA community does. It cannot do it, right? Uh, uh, because the functional pathways and which metabolites are being produced, like we can tell you what is the bitrate production, what is the methane gas production, what is the serotonin production, all of these things, right? Uh, but a lot of these companies uh, cannot tell you metabolites, right? And and then you no, know, we can be because we tell metabolite what is being produced and how it is impacting your production of various you know pro-inflammatory molecules and genes expression. Probably we can correlate the microbial functions with various health conditions so that we can provide you disease modifying precision interventions which a lot of these uh, you know uh, companies fail to do because they lack the functional data to to actually arrive at these interventions and most of the interventions are just test work or anecdotal evidences right so so essentially you know uh, this is this this was really uh, important i want to discuss about the bite rate so we it is if if you are eating a lot of uh, fiber or complex carbs or insulin resistance, it doesn't mean you are getting your your microbes are producing bitrate. So essentially, you really need to know whether I have that bacteria or not, whether it is active or not, right? Whether it is producing bitrate or not. If it is low, probably we have to feed the microbiome with the right set of foods, which can you know, uh, which can promote our way to be. Also, we can consider certain certain. Uh, polyphenol rich food and antioxidants and you know a lot of these food which can uh, feed uh, these uh, microbes or, or maybe we may also consider certain probiotics right so uh, so there, there's nothing called as universal healthy diet right so it all depends upon how your microbiome interacts with the food you eat right? um, that's that's what i would want to discuss today that's it have a great day ahead